Good morning, my boy, Sai. I don't know what that is, but Zoom is on. Shkoyach. Lili Nishmasi Mimi Rossi Rus Bas Mordechai. Today's shir is sponsored by Joel Pollock. For my daughter, born Zainov, to be named tomorrow. Well, they already named her. What's the name? The baby's name is Amira Leah Bat Yoel Baruch and Bat Yael. She's already bringing joy to her family and community. Thanks to Rabbi Baruch Rabinowitz, Rabbi Zusha. Kunin and shout out to Dave Hagal. Dave Hagal, shout out. And also, this is an amazing sponsorship by Mordechai Chaim Karen, engagement of Yisrael Mayor Katch, who happens to be my nephew. So my nephew got engaged to a family from Los Angeles, and they happen to be part of the DAF. So it's amazing. Chavi Gravitsky, oh, that's the name of the girl. But Chaim Karen is not the father. Okay, I get it. Mordechai, engagement, Yisrael, Mary Catch, the Chavi Gravitsky, Mazel Tov. We accept engagement notices, Givaldic. Listen to this. So, first of all, here's a picture. You know, I don't have the picture of Joel because I showed it yesterday. Joel was learning. In labor and delivery. It's unbelievable. Joel is a very famous writer. Who does he write for today? Breitbart. Breitbart. He writes for Breitbart. And this is his daughter. I showed the picture yesterday. So mazel tov to them. This is an amazing simcha. Here is David Geldman from Dallas making his first siyum ever. Amasech des brachas. They did it with us. So David. Um... Some of these emails, they get better and better. So I'm going to read these three, and then I got another three that are even more interesting. This is from Hanan Ashendorf. Div Raveli. As we all know, there's a halacha that one cannot learn Torah on Tisha B'av. I never really understood or felt how this is a sign of Avelis. If anything, we should be learning on Tisha B'av to show Hashem that we miss having the base on Migdosh. Finally, this year, I understood the answer. For one of the first times, I found myself missing the ability to learn Torah. I missed the ability to start my week by opening my Gemara and doing the daf and hearing good morning Rabbi say ah. In that moment I understood that the reason why we don't learn that, I understood the reason why we don't learn on Tisha B'av. I learned that once one begins to get a true enjoyment of having a consistent dose of every day of learning Torah, the one day you aren't allowed to learn, you miss it and feel a little sad about it. Maybe that feeling that I had was a microscopic feeling of how we're supposed to feel about missing the base on Big Dosh. And I have the daf and you to thank for that. Thank you for helping me feel that the way I felt this tish above. Your Talmud, Hanan. By Joel Wall, something like that. Watched the meaningful minute today. One thing struck me big time. And I knew I had to start watching Eli Shear and maybe committing to the daf. He said he forgets his learning. I too am a reasonably bright guy that enjoys learning yet. Yet it bothers me terribly that my memory doesn't do that great with remembering learning. I'm in. P.S. You hear this? Tell me if this is appropriate to say. Yes. P.S. And as a joke, as a joke, I said the same thing about Srili Bornstein. Very handsome, very successful, big mug cheer. His wife must be the worst witch ever. I mean, a man can have it all. By Yossi Gleiberman, dear Abeli, this is Yossi Gleiberman, emailing you from Elal, flight 004, over the Atlantic. We planned... We are on our way to Eretz Yisrael for our son, Tzvi Zchah, Sereb Hashem, on Wednesday in Bat Ayin. I had planned to come by for Tuesday morning's day share, but was informed that you are on the way to the U.S. for your son's Zchah this week. I am disappointed to be missing you, but very happy for you and the family. Mazel Tov, Mazel Tov. For your information, your shear is rocking. There's a great buzz in the gas about the shear. You are adding the appropriate amount of tavlin into the Torah. Givaldic, best regards, Yossi. Yes, I am leaving. If you haven't heard, I'm leaving tonight. I'm giving one more shear, the fourth shear in 23 hours. Tonight at 6.30ish, I think. I hope it works out. That's tomorrow's daf. Tomorrow's daf. Uh, but you can come here to the base measures and watch it on these screens. I will be live in the screen. I do want to give a tremendous Ah, uh, Yeah, I'm giving it 6.30 here, here, but it's tomorrow's daf. Okay. Tremendous Yishkoyach to Yosef Biliak. 
at four in the morning, I texted him. I said, you're going to go to sleep? He said, I still have one more shear to uh, edit and go. So here he is. He's here in the base measures without sleeping. I actually got a few minutes of sleep, so I'm not in the same boat as he is. And here we go, Raboisai. Today is Daf Yud Beis. Oh, I must open this up. It feels like a book. It's a thick book. By Michael Cohen to Avi Kamiansky. Okay, I'm opening it up. This better be good. It better not be like a Nachman Seltzer book or anything. Hold on. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh, uh, the original Gaiva de Leo. Let's open it up. Repairing the damage. Sefer Chovetz Chaim, Laws of Lashon Hara. What is this? Ah! Is that a, like, is this part of it? <laughs> if I was him, this is what I would do. I'd just give me an empty, empty book with zero in it, like nothing. Just the, okay, fine, Givaldic, look at this. You need to hire this guy for your books. You, your books are like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, beautiful, beautiful. Ah, Bezer Shem, coming to the bookstore next. You gotta, you gotta read this thing, Oh, I'm supposed to read it? The circus ran away to join me. I scoured a 99 on my first deer shoot test after just one week in the garden. <laughs> Once I lost a scorpion in my house and it stung me in the middle of the night. After five days of excruciating pain, the scorpion finally died. <laughs> they didn't come to me for brachas, for shiduchim, for the children. I declined hosting the Sima Shas in MetLife at a fear that the crowd would think Mashiach has arrived. <laughs> My hair is registered with Israel's landmark office. On Shabbos mornings, herring swim to my house to get a taste of me. <laughs> One time a man looked at my face and all of his typhus were cured, except his new obsession with me <laughs> and the Y. Oh, yeah, I once put a black hat on, on and proclaimed that it was not worthy. This is the book, Rabbi Yisai. You should all read it. Givaldic. Okay. Zia Klal called over Shemakal after all that Litzonas, the final, final day before I go to my son's chasen in America. And by the way, it's going to be tough. It's go what time is it? Is it 25 or 29? I don't get it. Whew. It's not fun. I really, my family's already there for like a week. For me to go, is, it's, there's a lot of anxiety. Anxiety is not a good word, but there's... What am I going to do? This traveling, you have to prepare, you have to go, you have to come, the, the flight, whatever. I call you, I need feelers from the tzibur. Zakla. Donuts, what about donuts? Uh, <laughs> it's not that. It's going from place to place. Okay, you prepare a shir once and we'll talk on the way to Russia. Zakla, called over Shemekabo Tuma, Minohani Mili. How do we know that Tzach? Cannot be mekabel tuma. All my rish lokish, all my krov, the aid yalem in The mist, the cloud, will come out of the ground. So what does this have to do with the sukkah? So what if it says in the pasuk the aid yalem in So Rashi says because it says in the pasuk he v'sukkah is yishafti, and the targum says Rashi says b'matolas anoni. Rashi sticks in above. Not sure why, but the, I looked inside. It says b'matolas anoni that the B'sukoi say Shafti is referring to the clouds. It's not talking about a physical structure. It's talking about Anani HaKavod. Once we know that it's talking about Anani HaKavod, so the Gemara says, Ma'eid Dovr Shein Mekabal Tumah, the Anani HaKavod, they're not Mekabal Tumah, V'gidulim in Aretz. Where does the cloud come from? From the ground. Avsuka Dovr Shein Mekabal Tumah, V'gidulim in Aretz. And therefore, Sukkah has to be the same thing. Ask the Gemara, Nich Lamad Oma Anani HaKavod, are you? That's great if you say that the clouds, that the sukkah was a cloud. The Chida asks, why is it that we have a zecher for the clouds and not a zecher for the man, not a zecher for the bear Miriam? Only the clouds. No, very simple answer, he says. You, you see the difference? What? <laughs> Listen to what he says and he'll say, so he says much better. He says the water and the bread we asked for. And then Hashem gave it to us. So we don't make, this we didn't even ask for it. Hashem gave us the protection from the sun and from the elements. So it's a much bigger chesed. We don't ask for it. It's a much bigger chesed. Anyway, 
انان کاور های کی بیسو کی شفتی بدون این الو مندام سوکس مامش اصلا سوله هم بر کوین تو مندام مرد مامش بیلت هات مایکل میمار the whole swar is because it's a cloud and a cloud is not a couple toma but if it was made out of <coughs> was just a regular soka maybe it was made out of things that are makabal toma like the hides of the the animals or whatever the sign keeps sukis is have in israel here's the makhloikis and none of you covered are you the rebelly as the kivaimer sukois mamisha sulahem so here is a very famous cash from the vilna goin says a beautiful varnia why is it that we celebrate sukas on Sukkot, if it's for the Nanei Akavod, a Nanei Akavod started in Nisan. When Klai Yisrael came out of the Midbar, poof, there's a Nanei Akavod. So let's celebrate it when it started. What happened? Why Sukkot? Can anybody come up with a pshat? <clears throat> and he says beautifully, he says that the Nanei Akavod only lasted for a very short time in the beginning. It was Chet Ha'egel. So, but they came back. When did they come back? And he goes through a Cheshmer when they came back. They came back. When Moshe Rabbeinu came down from Har Sinai on Tesvav, he says, he came back on Yom Kippur. Sorry, he came back on Yom Kippur. And he started collecting money and it took him two days. So on the 14th, he said, stop bringing money. And on the 15th, they started making the Mishkan. They started building the Mishkan. That is the day that the Ananiya Kavit came back, on the day they started building the Mishkan. And therefore, we commemorate it on the day that it lasted for a very long time. That was when it came for, for a long time. And Mela, it comes out on Sukkot. It's a beautiful cheshmer. Okay. Hanicha l'Rebeliyelezer. That says that we make a Sukkah in commemoration. L'Zeicher d'Anani HaKavit. And Anani HaKavit don't are not Kabbalah Tumah. So too, the product of the Sukkah. Not the walls. The main part of the Sukkah, which is the Sukkah, has to be not Kabbalah Tumah. El Rebbe Kiva, Michael Amema. What? What's the Pshad according to Rabbi Kiva? We had this before. The Chag doesn't mean a Yantif. Chag can mean the Karma Chagiga. Ma Chagiga Dover She'ena Mikabal Tuma Vigidula Minar. It's interesting. An animal. You want to think of an animal as something that grows from the ground. But the Gemara calls it Gidula Minar because it eats and benefits off the ground. It only grows and nourishes off the ground. So too, the schach must be something that's not mekabel tumah, like a carbon chagiga, and it grows off the ground. It says Rashi, but we don't really go with this. We don't use animals. Why not? Because it's not gedulei minaret. It's mearet. It's not like a like like uh, trees and grasses and things like that are minaret. It's from the ground. So meila, it's not the same. Doesn't have the same kind of properties as trees and therefore we only use that kind of stuff. So maybe you should use live live animals like a carbon chagiga. So maybe So we had this pasta yesterday. You remember this pasuk? This is the pasuk of a tasa v'loim and asui. Chag asuka is tasa. Suka is tasa. You should make a suka. It should be. We're not talking about that. We're going down here. Ba'as pecha migarnecha umiyikvecha. When you gather your gaira and your wheat and your grapes, says the Gemara, it's the psoilus. It's the leftover of your wheat, the leftover of your grapes, the vines, the the pits, not the actual grapes, not not, not the actual gaira, the straw that falls off. Maybe you should use wheat and grapes, wine. How are you going to make schach out of wine? It's a liquid. Again, the guy says something very interesting. He says that this pasuk, don't use wheat and bread. Don't use wine. How do you make a pseudo? You make pseudo out of wine and bread. The Torah is telling us, don't use that stuff. I want you to use the leftover. I don't want you to sit in the sun, which is where, where everything that grows in this world comes from the sun. We need the sun. I want you to stay out of the sun. That's Tzilas Merubah Hamas. This is the guy because it's a hint to us that we should stay away from the Gashmir. So Kosh is telling us, this is Oil of Hazeh. I want you to connect to Torah. Make your Limit of Torah Keva 
and your oilum azeh arai. Stay away from the wine and from the from the wheat, from the from the from the bread. Stay away from the sun that grows everything. I want you to be porished from all that, the leftover stuff. In other words, the Torah. Oh, but the Gemara is cash of Eimah Goyer and me Yakev Atzma. The Gemara is asking, maybe you should use wine. But what's the point of the cash? The point of the cash is because wine is mikabel tuma. It's already it's already a food. Bread is mikabel tuma. It's a food. No, you you can't be the wine itself. It has to be the leftover parts of the wine. Oh, there's a type of wine that you could use as schach. There's a place called snir. And over there, they have congealed wine. They're like fig cakes. Okay, maybe it's that. We had a good pasuk up until now. Rebbe comes along, threw an axe into it. He ruined it for us. It's a good cow. I don't know. I know. I know that that's the pshat. The Torah says in the Yeshleim world on the bottom, he says, I know the pshat is good. I just don't know how to answer it. I have, a, I have a Kabbalah that this is the pshat, this is the pasuk, this is how we learn. You ask me, oh, but there's a place sneer that I can, maybe I have to go all the way to sneer and grab congealed wine. That I don't know how to answer. The mem is what teaches us it's not the wine itself, it's not the wheat itself, it's not the kernels, but it's the byproduct, the straw, the pits, all that stuff. Another possible. Go out and bring some leaves from the from the from the olive tree, Vali eight shemen, vali adas. Vale tmarim, vale eight of us. So it says, Ali hadas, Ali hadas, hadasim. And it says at the end, vale eight of us. Ask the Gemara, Hainu hadas, Hainu eight of us. Aren't they the same? It's the same tree. Omer Avchizdo hadas shoyte la suko. It's a little different. Hadas shoyte is the same tree, but it's a different type of product. If they don't, they have three. Three leaves, but one is lower than the other. It's a shaita. So if it's a shaita, it's possible for hadasim. So what do you do with it? You use it for your schach. So here's a question in the Rishonim. So is it a separate species because it's hadas shaita? And if it is, I'll prove to you that it is. Because the Torah says it twice. The Torah says hadas it's a voice, and it says Adas. It seems like it's two separate things. So what's the Shaila? You know, there are people that use three Adasim, and then they lay it on. They put another 20. Those extra 17, whatever it is, do they have to be kosher? Or they could be Adasim Shaitim. Since I was already in the midst with the three, it says Big Naf Kimina. I'm not just saying this. This is a Machloikis Rishonim. Some Rishonim hold that since the Gemara says it, as a, it uses two psukim for it, so it's another min. And it's of another min, then there's an isra of Baal Taisif. You're not allowed to use another min. So it's not a noy. It's not a zekeli van veyu. You're using the min shaita. Eyes from the same tree. So what? The Gemara says it comes from Tupsukim. You're not doing a mitzvah by adding hadasim shaitim. You have to be very careful that when you add your hadasim, you want to add extra, great. It's zekeli van veyu. But make sure that it's real hadasim, not hadas shaita. According to those rishonim, some rishonim argue. Says the Heiligen Mishnah, the official Mishnah is sponsored by official. Chavile cash, the chavile eitzim. What does a chavila mean? A bundle? What is a bundle? So Taisa seems to say that a bundle is 25. There's no bundle less than 25. Other Yushayna, maybe three, but we're going to go with 25. Chavile cash, the chavile eitzim, chavile zrodim. Different types of wood, some you can feed to the animal, not, but Straw, wood, but they're a bundle. A misakhim bem. You cannot use them as chach. Bekulon tiron. However, if you open up the bundles, you let it go. Ksheiroiz. So, pshita. So let me ask you if it's so pashat. Who said pshita also? You? Okay. Do you have to lift it up? We said by, by the grapes. If you put a vine on top of a sukkah, 
according to Rav, even after you snip it, you have to lift it. Do you have to lift this? This is snipping. You say what? You don't have to. What do you say? So maybe that's the Chiddush. No, you don't have to. The Mishnah says, V'chulun shi'tirung shares, and you don't have to lift it. Why? Because Betzim, it's kosher schach. It's just, we'll see, it's, it's a gzera. More than anything, it's a kosher schach with a gzera. V'chulun shi'tirung litfanois. If you're going to take, ha? Huh? What, the tfanais? Well, not everybody knows this. So we have to repeat this halacha over and over. And I said it before, and I'm going to say it again. People think that a sukkah is the walls. The Mishnah is telling us the sukkah is not the walls. There are halachas in the walls. And we learned, basukah is basukah is basukah is, and we learned about the walls. Even though the word sukkah does not mean walls. Sukkah means the, the ceiling, the scha. So if I take the bundles and I put them in the walls, it's kosher. That's pashat. Now, now that we know that halacha, it's very pashat. But we have to know that halacha. Not everybody, before you learn Mishnah Lesukha, knows that the walls don't have the same halacha as the schach. You can make walls out of things that are makabal tumah. You can make things, bundles. Okay. It's confusing because somebody, a big time chacham in the neighborhood, okay, he's not in the dark, but he came to ask me. So I understand that whole, then we're learning. Sukha means the schach. So how are you learning drushes for the walls? The whole thing, back and forth. Bottom line is, you could use it for the wall. Omer Rabbi Yaakov, Shamas Minei de Rabbi Yochanan Tarti. I heard two halachas from Rabbi Yochanan. Chodah I learned this halacha of bundles. The Chodah we spoke about this last night. This is the classic example. I don't want to give it away, but this is the classic example of Tas of Asui. You have already a wall and ceiling. You have the schach already in place. And then you come and you dig out a void. So it's puzzle this. Why? Because it's Tazvali Minasi. But we don't know that yet. Let's pretend we don't know that halacha. We know that this is us. We don't know why. I learned from Yoichan and two halachas. Chodaha, the halacha of bundles on the schach. Vidur chachot of Yigodesh, last of sukkah, ain't a sukkah. This is a puzzle sukkah. One reason chodam is shum gzeri soitza. The gzeri is that in those days they used to have, well, today also, a lot of people in the backyard that had a storage shed full of their wheat, or whatever they had a store, and we're concerned that you have to put your schach up for what? L'shem schach. It has to be L'shem sell for shade. So if I put my wheat over there because I want to store it, and then I say, you know what? I don't have a good sukkah. Why should I spend all my time building this whole sukkah? Let me go to my storage facility. It's all, it's laid out nicely on the, on the ceiling from side to side, beautiful. Even rain can't even get in there. I'll just go in there and make a sukkah. Beautiful. Xeris <laughs> there's puzzle. But it's a gzeiro, you might go into the oitzer. Which means, we're talking about a dirabanan. So what is a dirabanan? Now, the point is that both of these things, you could apply to both. You could have a gzeiris oitzer on a gadish, on a pile of wheat. Because here, I put it down at the store, and now I'm going to use it. And I can use the tasvali minasui on bundles. I have a bundle that's puzzle, and then I undo it. So I took some, my, it was on top of my sukkah when it was bipsul, and I, I, I did an action to make it kosher, and that's not good. You have to put it on top of the sukkah when it's in a state of kashros. You can't put it on top of the sukkah when it's puzzled, and then make it kosher. Which one is it? Which one goes where? Maybe that's why it's not so kosher. Says Rabbi Yirmiya, let's figure it out ourselves. Oh, Rabbi Yirmiya said Mufurish. Why is it not okay to use bundles? What's the reason? It happens when people have their bundle on their shoulder. And he puts it on top. He has like a pergola, he puts it on top to dry it out. He has a sukkah. What kind of sukkah says Rashi? Limbik Nasai. For his, for his behemoths. This is not a regular sukkah for sukkahs like we call a sukkah. This is a hut for animals. This is an isidai raisa. Tasev eloi min If you stop here and you didn't come to shear, you might get confused for a second. Rabbi Yechon just said it's an isidai raisa. No. Rabbi Yechon said it's an isidai rabbanan. 
How did he say it? Because he says, if you put it on the sukkah, l'shem, drying out, that's his deraisa. But Chachamim went one step further and said, any time you have a bundle on your thing, it's possible. Why? Because of the gzera. So Rabbi Yechon, in fact, is saying that our mission is at the Rabbana. You hear? First time I read it, I got all confused. But I'll tell you, until you, until you look in Rashi HaKadosh. Again, sometimes a person is going to come from the field, he's going to put on top of the sukkah, which is the Raisa. But that's not the point. We have to go one step further, which Gemara doesn't mention. What do you mean? No, 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 no. It's not you're over Isser. You're going to get Malchus. The point is that if you use it as a sukkah, you're, you're, you're not Yaitza. Not Midar Abanan. The Torah said you're not Yaitza. So, you have to put it on the Shem Sukkah, exactly. And since you didn't, it is possible Midar Raisa, even if you undo it. Now, if it's possible Midar Raisa, you might be able to lift it up and put it down, and then it's okay. Midar Abanan, you wouldn't. So now that I know that Chavile, and the Gemara continues, now that I know that putting on bundles of Tabi Sukkah is only the Rabbana, it's only the Rabbana of Gzeira, Ha! The other case of Gadish is Tasev Loi Mina Asui. This case is the Dairaisa, and it's Asur for Tasev Loi Mina Asui. So, if it's Asur for Tasev Loi Mina Asui, all I need to do is pick it up, and then it becomes kosher. But by Chavilim, it might not work. So it's beautiful. You have a, be- you have a Mefurish or a who says that. Bundles are the Rabbanon, Gzeira, and Gadish is the Raisa. So what's, what's the Shaila Bechlau? He never heard it. That's why. Amr Ravashi. I don't understand. Bundles should also have a problem with Tazav Lehman Asi. And what happens to, when you have a, a pile of, of straw? There's no problem of Oitzar. Gzeira the Rabbanon. So, in other words, what the Gemara is asking is that Chaitit Begadish, this right over here, should be Asr Midr Rabbanon, and even if you lift it up, it should remain Asr. It shouldn't help just lifting it up. Rabbi Yechon Amar La, Chacha Diktani Misakhem Behem, says Rabbi Yechon in the Mishnah, where it says, A Misakhem Behem, that's the Lashon here, Chavid Ikash, Chavid Eitz, Chavid Zerodim, A Misakhem Behem, Lechatchilohu, it doesn't say Eina Sukkah. It says you shouldn't use it as Chach. So, only in the first place you shouldn't use it. Why? From the Mishnah Smashman that it's okay. We just turned to that. Wow. 12, 11 daf into Sukkah. Sponsored by the MD White, the Healing Group for all those who need Shiduchim, Refusim, Shuas. Please join, if you haven't yet, tehillim.8min.com. So I will Bezer Hashem be in New York tomorrow. Tomorrow? No. No, 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 not tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow's Tuesday. Correct. Um, today's Monday. Tomorrow, Tuesday at 1 p.m. in the five towns? Island Avenue Shul. 8, 12, Peninsula Boulevard. Where is that? In Woodmere. Middle of the day. 1 p.m. At lunch, if there's such a thing in America. Do they have lunch break? There's going to be a lot of food. Come for the food. Don't come for the sheer. You have to sign up? Who said? Okay. Speak to... Uh, oh, and we're going to give the, the following day's daf. So if you're coming to the sheer, don't expect that day's daf, the Tuesday daf. It's the Wednesday daf. So that the guys, the folks here in Eretz Yisrael, have their daf on time. Beis Hashem, I get there and everything be seder. Says the Gemara. Hadar Raisa Shaper Domi. Midar Raisa. It seems from the Mishnah that the Chavilim, the bundles are okay. Hasa, but by the Gadish, by the pile of wheat, the Ktani Enes Sukkah. It says Enes Sukkah. I feel the Evan. The Raisa Nami Enes Sukkah. It's not a Sukkah, but you hear this? That's that's another shtick that you have to stick in here. Midaraisa, you think just by reading this, without Rashi. Midaraisa is not a sukkah at all. Adaraba. 
it's so not a sukkah that if you lift it up, it becomes a sukkah. Whereas in the Rabbanon, it is a shtickle sukkah, lifting doesn't really help. Om Rav Yehud, Om Rav. Says Rav. Sikcha bechitzim zacharim. Ksheira. Binikeva is psula. So we know that kalim are makabal tumah. And if you have a kli, you cannot use it for schach. So the two types of arrows. There's an arrow that you put the arrowhead inside the wood. So the wood is a receptacle. So it's in a keva. And then you have a wood that's a zachar. See the two types? So this nekeva wood is actually has a base kibble. Anything that is like a cup, it could hold whatever it is. It could hold the arrow. So Melo, this is possible for schach. It's a real kli that's mekabal toma. You cannot use these pieces of wood as schach. However, this version of the, of the arrow, not the metal. We're not talking about metal. There's no metal here. You can't, put, you can't use metal. If it has metal, it's possible. Without the metal, just a piece of wood. It doesn't have a receptacle. receptacle. It cannot receive anything. Over here, it's the metal that receives. So therefore, this is kosher for schach. Ay, it's a kli. It's a kli. But pshut kli ain't. It doesn't have a base keyboard. It can't receive anything. And therefore, it's kosher for schach. What are you asking? No, because bamboo, wood that has a, because it's not made to receive anything. It, so what? You, nobody uses it for that. Nobody uses it for that. That's, yeah, that's how good. They drink from it. Okay, so if you do, you do. Then you made it the kli. You're right. You say naturally it's not. Naturally, it's, it's, it's born like that. It's created like that. This, somebody went out of his way and made a, made a hole in here. Not only that, he already has the piece of metal on the side. He just didn't fasten it. As we're going to see in a second. Says the Gemara, Zacharim Ksheira, Pshita. What's the big Chiddush? It doesn't have a base keyboard. Mal, the same thing as Zacharim. Adon Akeva. These people don't know how to differentiate between Zacharim and Akeva. And they, it's not a joke. It's a big problem. Okay, off color jokes. <laughs> what? <laughs> you think he's still watching? Somebody has to write him a letter and tell him, uh, like, give him a little chizuk. Says the Gemara. Benekevis Psula says, I'm a Maria, they take it out. Benekevis Psula, Pshita. I mean, I understand why they take it out because. I think. It says, Zecharim Ksheri Pshito. It doesn't say Omar Mar over there. Omar Mar means, oh, let's go back. We're not going back anywhere. We're just going through the words here. Zecharim is Pashat. Nekevez is Pashat. Again, he's making arrows. He needs to go to war soon. So he's going to take these, this base kibble piece of wood. He's not just going to leave it. He spent a lot of time in it. So what is he going to do? He's going to fill it with the metal. Forever. Lailam. It's going to be full forever. So anything that's going to be full forever, I would think, is not considered a real base key bowl. It's not like a bowl of soup. He's going to fill it up with soup, but two minutes later, it's empty again. This is going to be full forever. Komash malon. Now this is considered a base key bowl, halacha, even though you intend to fill it up. we got to slow down here. Omar, Rabba, Barachana, Omar, Yechanan. Omar Rabbi Yechanan, Sikicho Banitei Pishton. So it goes like this. I, I'm not saying that this is the perfect picture for this, but it gives us some sort of an idea. In the time of the Beisami, uh, time of the Gemara, at least over here, what you don't have, you don't have everything here. But just understand that to take flax, go take these seeds, or or this and make it into this right over here, a piece of garment, takes a lot of steps. So one of the steps is you soak it in water. Not over here, not in the picture. Then you take it and you break it down. You, you bang it and you break it. You take off all these berries and everything and you break it. See, then, then you have this. It's broken. Then you take a comb and you comb it out. And finally you have a very fine thread or whatever, and then you make fabric. So you have all these steps. Says the Gemara, as usual, we have the two extremes. We, ha- we have the extreme of 
unprocessed at all, right over here. And then we also have very processed. Okay, this guy right over here. So what's that Allah? Sikho ba nitse pishton. If it's already combed and processed, according to Rashi, not according to all the Rishonim, according to Rashi, it's Mikabal Tuma for Nagoyim Psula. It's processed. So you, you can't use this for Schach. It's Mikabal Tuma, like anything that's Mikabal Tuma, it's no good. But if you use this guy right over here, the unprocessed, Givaldic, what's wrong with that? It's beautiful. Shayra. Vushne Pishton. What about Hushne? What is Hushne? I don't know. Not only do I not know, the Gemara says, any of them out. I don't know. Vushne Okay, I don't know what that Okay, I don't know what that is. You're right. Right at this point, I don't know what that Allah is. any idea. I don't know exactly what it is and where it is. Manavshach. E daik What is it? If it's beaten, but it's not combed. So maybe it's right over here. This guy over here. It's beaten, but not combed. Hushne karele, and you call it hushne. Avol tare. What if it's soaked? Veloy daik, but it wasn't beaten. Hushne karele. Do you call it hushne? Maybe soaked but not beat is considered also ushne, which we don't know exactly what it is and we don't know what that loch is. Now, a loch of a a lot of times we, we use like these strings to tie down our schach. And what do they call those uh, mats, the reed mats? What are they called in? Kindness. Oh, kindness. Kindness. So, what are the kindness made out of? Those, those strings that you that attach piece to piece. So based on this, you should really be makbid, you should be makbid on using strings that are not processed at all. So I guess they tell you if it has extra, it says not unprocessed, but a lot of times people will buy like cotton, I don't know what, like, like, like strings that come through from a factory you know, on, a, on a roll. Those are problematic. They're not the best to use because um, what is it called? Uh, no, the word slipped my mind. Maimed, thank you. How did you know that's his, his shlifa is unbelievable. Maimed, shkoyach. Maimed is schach. Something that, that ties a piece of schach to each other. You, we also have to be makbed on. We should. L'chat chilo. All right. Zog to Gemara. To the sukkah also. If it's holding down the schach to the sukkah, so it's a maimed to the schach. There's a maimed to a maimed, and there's a one maimed. A one actual maimed is also problematic. I think it's fine. I think they sell those, those bags, like very raw kind of material, I think. <laughs> they do? It's the same company? Okay. Well, try a double dip. Why not? Says the Gemara, I'm Rabbi Yudo. Hani Shushei Ushvatsare. Don't read it differently, please. Ushvatsare. Masakrimbu. <laughs> Whether that's the way you read it or not, that's the way we are going to read it. We don't want it to be thrown off anytime. Shushe is fern. Okay, I'm not saying this is it, but it's a good. The Ashka calls a fern. I go with this. Schwitzare is green. Green Schwitzare is this kind of thing. Uh, this you have like in every house has this, no? Artemisia. Artemisia, Artemisia. Huh? Nachman, you come every day, no? When I'm not here. Sit over there in the front. I saw you, though. I, 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 I come into the video to see what's going on here. Don't worry about it. Hani Shushe Vushvitsari Misakhin. We could use it as Chach. Abaye Omar. Shushe Misakhin. It makes sense. No, it doesn't. To me, okay. This seems like it has a pretty decent smell. Anytime I... No, this is like... Uh, this is very common. It's a herb. Okay. He says, don't use this. My Since it has a pretty foul odor, has an interesting smell, you're going to run out of your sukkah. We don't want you running out of your sukkah, so do not... Do not use schach that's going to create a problem with smell. 
But boys, I have a wonderful day. Tonight at 6.30, whoever wants. Otherwise, I'll see you after Benazmanim.